Hi guys, I'm going to make a couple of videos showing a couple different ways that you can navigate through Canvas. The example I'm going to show here is how you can use buttons and pages and modules kind of all combined. Um, so this is my home page. This is just something I created the header in Google Draw and the buttons I believe I created in Canva. And then um, basically students would come in. We just have two blocks in our day. We do an integrated literacy and a math. So um, there's really only need for two buttons. So they would click into their eyelet button during our eyelet time. And I would then have um, whole group material that they could click here for. Um, this might be something though that I just display on a smart board, but it's just nice to have it all in place or if they need to refer back to it. Um, but when they click the whole group button, it brings up a text that we would talk about together. And then they'll click the home button, which will take them back to this page. And then um, when they come to their small group, they could bring their device, click on the small group button. And then I have four different links, one for each of my four groups. And then from here, like my group one kiddos would click on this link and it's actually then gonna take them into a module. So in the module, they would then read this and then click the next button. And then I've got a little assignment for them. And then they click the next button again, read another text and then actually compare those two texts. So then this is another little assignment for them. And then the last page, um, I always like to add a stop sign at the end um, because if you'll notice if they were to click the next button, it actually takes them to the group two content. That's one of my biggest complaints about Canvas is I wish that modules could be like isolated. Um, so once you finish one module, it would just be done, but instead it takes you to the next module. So I like to use these stop signs. And then from here, when they click the home button, it's gonna take them all the way back home uh, because we're technically done with their small group time. Um, but then the last thing is we come back in for this kind of unit seven um, is a key learning experience. And this is how they would um, demonstrate their key learning. Um, and this is their actually, it's a discussion. It's a graded discussion where they're sharing a video. Um, but the nice part is, is because it's in a discussion board, um, other students would get to see their posts and the videos that they make. So that's just sort of uh, one way that you can use uh, Canvas buttons, pages, and modules all kind of combined. I will be showing in some other videos how you could just use buttons or just use modules, but this one is kind of the whole kit and caboodle that shows how you can use all of those together. And I'll real quickly just click on my modules button so you kind of see how that was set up. So this is that group one, and then there's group two, group three, and group four, and I've got those stop signs. I technically put all of that in one module since it was all my unit seven groups, um, but you could um, then you know do a unit eight and kind of set that up the same way and then just basically switch where your buttons link to so then on my home page when I'm ready to do unit eight um, then this button would actually take them to a unit eight landing page that they could then use so hopefully this helps uh, let me know if you have any questions